Active is very dark man calls out actor John Lucafo's wife for allegedly demanding for iPhone 15 and a car and others. Guys, please do not forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment and share and please click on that notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video. Thank you. I see the heart on news media. So very dark man in a video called out Mr. Abel's wife over what she posted on her Instagram page. I will allow you to watch the video of the very dark man where he was addressing the issue later. But let me read what Mr. Abel's wife posted. Evil and lies travel faster but truth always catches up and overcome. My hands are clean. My husband's recovery is my priority. Hello wonderful Nigerians, friends and well wishers from all over the world. I want to use this medium to appreciate everyone who has contributed to the well-being of my husband. He is responding well to treatment and we believe we shall overcome this hair challenge to the glory of God. Recently, there have been some malicious lies being peddled against me on social media as masterminded by Jasmine Choma Okeke who wants to make me an outsider in my own home. But God forbid, I will address Jasmine's excessive interference in my family affairs and other related matters when the time is right. But for now, my husband's health is most important too. The the 1 million naira donation they talked about was paid into my account on my husband's instruction and in his present to upset some bills at home front. I don't understand why Jasmine, a complete stranger, should be dragging me over my family matter. I do not have access to the main access bank account where people make donations. It is being secretly controlled by Jasmine, yet she is cooking up all kinds of lies and propaganda against me in order to keep absolute control of that account. How she manipulated her way and took control of that account is a story for another day. There was never a time I asked anybody to buy a car for me. It was only mentioned in a private discussion between Jasmine and my brother and she recorded it as a tool for blackmail. It was an innocent suggestion to help me cope with the suffering I was going through with public transport while trying to coordinate my hospital schedule with the home challenges. This my brother has been living with us since 2013, long before people like Jasmine even knew my husband. He has been my strongest support and encouragement in these trying times as he willingly helps me with some of the challenges that I cannot cope with. Yet an imposter who knows nothing. Jasmine said I took her name to a native doctor. This is very funny. Please, I don't do native doctors or any form of fetish. Never because I serve a living God in whom I trust always. The person that called Jasmine is actually my husband's cousin in the village who has been calling me to know the state of health of his cousin. This is the man Jasmine and her cahoot tagged a witch doctor. May God forgive them. Maybe Jasmine is indirectly telling us the kind of thing she does to be able to manipulate people for her own selfish ends. This whole campaign of Kakulumi against me started because I asked for statement of the Access Bank account when I noticed some funny attitudes and movements, especially by Jasmine. I only asked for transparency in the handling of public donations. Instead of secrecy, and hell was let loose. Till date, I have no idea how the status of that account. Very strange. But I will revisit these matters when the time is right. For now, I leave Jasmine and her gang to their conscience while I concentrate on my husband's quick recovery. Mr. Abel's wife only posted it because before now, Jasmine's friend sent this lover evidence of Mr. Abel's wife asking for iPhone 15, asking for a car, and also that there was 1 million naira transfer to her account from people's donation, her own personal account or no Mr. Ebu's account, that she did not remit the money. She even had the evidence of the money being transferred to her account. And also, Jasmine's friend said that before now, Mr. Ibu and his wife, they were not in good terms even when he was sick. So, Mr. Ibu's wife had to beg Jasmine to talk to the husband so he will allow her to come and see him. So, Jasmine did that and she was allowed to come and see the husband. And also, Jasmine's friend said that Mr. Ibu's wife took Jasmine's name to a native doctor. I don't know how true that is. I don't know. Let me allow you to watch Very Dark Man's video. Then I'll come back to give my thoughts. First of all, you understand, I didn't want to say all these things, all the things I know about this whole thing, but I think it's time to just clear the public, you understand. First of all, me, I will say, I, will, I pray to God that I will never marry somebody like that woman, first of all. Now, no, me, they go straight and direct. Now, she's coming online to say she does not have access. Did she tell why 
the family they are said mr ebu himself does not trust her with money we are talking about a woman that when we when they started uh, contributing that money online when that money got to 40 million naira, do you know what that woman did that woman called and said that, uh, that it's time for her to that they should buy an iphone 15. your husband did for sick bed then you try to make decision whether in leg or go whether in here especially where pick buy you say they don't buy your iphone 15. the woman did not even stop there she said and uh, she's still a young lady that they should give her some money out of the money so that she can go and take care of herself that she needs to brush up her body that she wants to go and do everybody was like wait madam your husband they sick bed see what you they use your mouth they talk cause the long story short this woman they gave her some money they gave her one million dollars for upkeep for her child you understand she and her children she removed inside that money go buy all this pad all this fake nyan they wear and come hospital she did not tell the public that one secondly a man came to the hospital to come and see mr ibu when the man got to the hospital he was trying to meet mr ibu the woman refused the man you understand that no 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 he does not want to see anybody at the end of the day she finally let the man when the man went and saw mr ibu you understand he now wanted to transfer money to the accounts that people were contributing in mr ibu wife said that access bank account was not working that they should transfer it to our account that was how that man transferred that money to account god so kind the man now transferred the receipts to jasmine when transferred the receipt to jasmine jasmine i even sent it to me that ah, look at what mr ibu's wife is doing you understand now when they sent it the man was done they now told the man that ah that she shouldn't have sent it there the man said does he want them to collect the money back from mr ibu's wife but in order for people not to say one or two things let it not be as if the family are not together jasmine told the man that the man should not worry the disciple's wife is coming online now to talk about money did she talk about the cars that she sold did she talk about when she told mr ibu that they should sell their house in aja that they should sell it for 44 million and she will not receive anything less than 25 million out of 44 million did she talk about how mr ibu left their mansion and went to ibadon and be staying with somebody inside the one room you know what it means say your husband leave you for house if they fear you run go stay with person when wife get the left side one room, they sleep on top chair. I'm not talking about any other person. I'm talking about Mr. Ibu. Did she talk about all these parts? Even in that hospital, did she talk about how Mr. Ibu did not want to see her? Mr. Ibu said he does not want her to come close to him. Did she talk about all these parts? Now, when they wanted to, the surgery that he did for Mr. Ibu, that they made them cut the man's leg. When they were thinking about that surgery, they wanted to do another surgery for blood uh, testing, whatever thing. They needed somebody from the family to sign. Mr. Ebu's wife refused to sign because she said because the doctor told them that it was a 50-50 thing. She refused to sign and then she said that um, that ah that she does not want to sign though because if anything happened, the who are responsible. Instead, she was looking for Jasmine to come and sign. Do you understand? This same money that she's talking about that Jasmine is in charge of the money. Jasmine does not have one error in charge of that money. It's Mr. Ebu's son that is in charge of the money. Mr. Ebu's second son that is in charge of that money they went to the police station mr ibu told the dpo of the police station in lagos aja area that he wants his son to be the one to handle that money anything sending money and receiving money do you understand that money got to a hundred million but now how much remain for the money money where they sit the man see the hospital like this they see they try no one or two things because infection that entered this man's body up to now they are still looking for a way to get everything out to stabilize him the leg that went out alone is not even part of it that one a secondary case there's still another problem inside they are saying the man get diabetes the man said no get diabetes he doesn't have diabetes i don't forget to say they call him in their distance now all these things i'm saying there are a lot of proof how about her brother that told jasmine when that money got to 40 million that jasmine and him and mr ibu wife should share the money four ways did she talk about all this one mr ibu wife you better come out this on a matter online your husband this is me they will buy you moto your husband this is me say you won't do me your husband this is me say me they buy you iphone 15. that's where we say your husband this sick bed tell them why mr ibu no wants you for two years why talk now no talk when they run from house so madam mr ibu go take care of your husband first of all go make peace with your husband maybe you and your husband they can for one place before i start to talk about material things and money how much be the money how much be the money no not share money as they no share money give you come online to say this one that one they're talking about the the well-being of your husband you come online come you talk about money go and sit down one please else
First of all, Mr. Ebu's wife should be considerate. Your husband is in the hospital and you are talking about car. You are talking about iPhone. Is that a priority? Is it not your husband's health that should be a priority? The money that will be used in buying car, can they not use it to treat your husband? What is wrong with entering public transport? There is no big deal there. At one point in our lives, before people had cars, they were entering public transport. There is no big deal there. And you are asking for iPhone 15. That is really ridiculous. And I'm really surprised that she's not in charge of handling the account. That has to tell you that Mr. Ebu doesn't trust her. I'm sure in the past she has done one or two things. Not one or two things, a lot of things that makes Mr. Ebu not to trust her, which is very, very bad. They say if Matsu carry, carry women, you'll go end up carry the one when you buy. That's the case of Mr. Ebu. Some of the allegations they are making against her, I might believe because of past incidents, because of what she has done in the past. She looks like somebody that can do these kind of things that they're accusing her of. She's just all about the baby girl lifestyle and all that man you guys should be careful the kind of women you marry even women you too be careful the kind of men you marry and now the second son mr ebu's second son is in charge of the account at this point i don't even trust anybody with the account mr ebu's wife jasmine the son i don't trust anybody i don't trust any of them it's just unfortunate that mr ebu cannot be in control of the account because he's down right now may god save him granting speedy recovery as for the issues that they have that are very dark man was talking about i don't know what issues they have but whatever issues they have i hope they can sort it out or better still mr ebu should just be on his own so guys what do you think do you think that she was right to demand for a car so they've been demanding for an iphone or what do you think just leave your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you. Let's read people's reaction in the comment section. This one will not be woman, I beg. If Mr. Ebu one last, make it discard them later. Now she go come, they cry, they apologize. Your husband no way. Now to buy, buy you, they talk. Pass. Cameras. I beg rest now everything you they put mouth. Who told you your opinion counts? Well now bloggers they give you relevance. Sha. This man gets issues with people wives. It's how this man feels he has an opinion in all matters arising for me. Tired AF. Hope you are not falsely accusing that woman because I don't trust Jasmine. Neither do I trust you. Some women with misplaced priorities. Mr. Ebu's lack of trust in his wife says a lot about her. Her love for him appears conditional. In this life, just marry a kind person. Cho, 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 cho. Do you love him as much as his wife does? This is too much. So this woman don't have her life again. Do Jasmine monitor everything she do or buys? Imagine telling the public she bought Nyash. Wow, this is too much. Controlling a woman, even in her own home. Unasha want time Manage this woman image finally. How come Jasmine has a lot to say in this matter? Does Mr. Ibu not have grown children to take over his affairs? He might be saying the truth, but coming in to help someone doesn't mean you can't respect the family's privacy. Mr. Ibu hasn't come out to share these stories for reasons best known to him, probably handling it privately. That we are helping people don't mean we have a right over them or their decision making. Leave the other part of the family issues and let them address it happily best they can. The man is still alive and in charge of his home. He hasn't called for help on this matter. No matter how funny this sounds or more many women are sitting pretty well on this table. SMH. Thank you for watching my video. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, share and hit the notification bell. And please do kindly leave your comments in the comment section below.